<laughs> Bet you never seen a turn like that, <laughs> buddy. Great Scott the Gamer here, bringing you a video I just made that I'm so pumped about. I played one of the greatest games of Magic I've ever played, and this one in particular was my version of Team of Ramp, which is still relevant here at September 3rd, 2020, versus the current adventures that everybody sees in this tough game. But it lasts for 40 minutes, and it's insane, these swings of power and stuff that happens. Check it out. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So terrible what's been going on to me. So, so terrible. Um, opponent goes first. I think about 25 out of the last 27 games. And um, it's breaking my heart. Um, and last game, for some godforsaken reason, I drew... Um, three Ugans and three Genesis Ultimatums um, in my first six turns, which I didn't really think you could do in real life. But here we here we are, looking at another game of being uh, on the draw and um, just. I am flabbergasted about this. I really am. Hmm. I don't know if I should cultivate or ooh, uro, uro. I don't know if I should cultivate or uro. Hmm. I don't think his deck will have counters, so is so if I'm lucky and I draw into some Genesis Ultimatum and some other power stuff, um, and he doesn't ramp up super hard right now with a clover, I should be able to come back and get him. If he doesn't play anything, I'm just going to ramp some more. Okie dokie. So he does have counters? Is that what I'm seeing? Blue, blue. I need another blue. And I don't know, another green. Um, I don't know if I like Uro in this deck. I'm not getting enough cards in my graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six. I needed to actually play a forest there. Now that I see that I needed three forests the next turn for the Kogla. So that's not good. <coughs> Definitely needed to play a forest there to play the Kagla. Forest, forest, forest. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this deck is working. I'm not sure. Mm. He got his clover and a brazen. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I can play this. And this. And this. What does he do? He bounces her? He plays the clover and bounces her? <clears throat> the land shall you. 
<clears throat> what does he do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will decide the next draw, <clears throat> or if he removes her or if he doesn't, will decide quite a bit. Oh, I forgot I need to add some Clover Haze. I need to add Clover Hate to the deck. I don't know what that's going to look like. If you brazen the Nissa, you lose your second part of the brazen. You could Bone Crusher, Bone Crusher the mountain and then attack the Nissa and kill her. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Where's my Genesis ultimatum? I can help you no longer. Where's my Genesis ultimatum? <clears throat> well, he's pretty much drawn everything he's needed, hasn't he? <coughs> I'll dump the other one. The land will not forsake you. That's fun. I actually can play that. What you what you gonna do? So you probably have a brazen in your hand. <clears throat> I would imagine you have a brazen in your hand. You could play another brazen or another clover and then brazen or you could play another clover and then a bone crusher and kill him. <clears throat> Ooh, Fay, even nicer. Ugin Nation! I need Ugin Hate. The problem is I don't have any Ugin Hate here. In my deck. I need some. I need some Ugin hate and Clover hate. That's what I need. Yes. That's right. Mythos. What he does with the mythos. All right, bounce that. Okay, play something. What you gonna play, Mr. Man? What do you what do you plan to mythos? Whew, there's a bunch of land for you. 
I swear to God, <clears throat> I probably played Adventures for over a hundred games, and I can remember one specific time only ever. I got to play a beanstalk into two clovers. Like once, ever. Probably should have got that last one as a red. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And I might have been able to Genesis and Storm's Wrath. Don't burn out now. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three. Does he pull it back into his hand right now? Hmm. Okay, so I'll play this for the land. Doesn't matter. The reason I'm doing this, <clears throat> I'm going to entice him to play out some of his power cards or some of his backup things or some of the things he's been holding on to so that I can play my bombs that I'm looking to play. I think if I play a Genesis Ultimatum, I'll be able to. Does he pull this back into his hand? You would lose two cards, one of which would be something you wanted real bad. You did! Ooh, just to keep the Fey and the Ugin. That makes sense. At least we got rid of that Mythos. I didn't know what the hell he was doing with that thing. All right, man. It's your play. Your Ugin, sure. Accept a lesser world, and you will grow lost. You're just gonna pop my Ugin. Beyond perception. I want you to play a Fey into. <clears throat> oh, that's too bad. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Bet you never seen a turn like that. <laughs> that was crazy. That literally was crazy. <clears throat> you got Faye. All the cards in the world available to you, man. Don't complain to me. Faye into mass manipulation. It's the best thing there is. I'll get, get all the rest of your land. That's probably smart. I can pull out another Uro as well. I can probably do that and play this. Two, four. Yeah, I could do both. I also have a problem with how am I going to kill a Beanstalk Giant if he actually plays one? That much I don't actually know. I'm going to put down here huge creature removal. 
need something. That was so awesome when I, I Ugin popped Storm's Wrath and then played another Ugin and killed his. <laughs> Return target creature to its owner's hand. Okay. That's for the Ugin that's coming, I think. And a Sublime Epiphany. That much I know is going to be some serious trouble. So, and he grabbed another Ugin. Wow, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to have a Sublime Epiphany available. Interesting. So close to... So close to ultimating her. So he has enough to sublime now. Create a token, okay, he can return target non-land permanent at any time, right? So he'll counter the Genesis ultimatum, I'm sure. But I don't want him to, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the arrow. That was a mistake. Should have played the Cultivate first. Should have played the Cultivate first so that the Uro ability would trigger. Now, now I don't have a land to put into play, unfortunately. I hope, maybe I'll draw a land if I'm lucky. Okay. Let's try. Another land. Probably, probably pass on that in case I end up having to play the Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, how about just a plus three? Are you sublime? I don't think you sublime. Yeah? I'll try to cultivate. I think if I want, <clears throat> I need to, I want to try to put Sublime in here. So he does Sublime, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just short of playing either of those other things. He plays an Ugin, pops it for three. Yeah, I think, I don't know, it sounds, it looks like he's got his engine turning pretty well. I would be surprised if we make this happen now. Play your beanstalk. And Ugin, that's surprising. Probably Probably should have tried to Ugin first, huh? Oh, I can't play another Genesis again. <laughs> um actually I probably can play another Genesis. There's something I can do here.
There's a play here. <clears throat> there is a play here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Discarded the other two cards in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chumps it, of course. <clears throat> I don't want him to just, I don't want, I'm, 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 he's got a, he's got a Ugin. The crap out of me. Fine. You're going to have to Ugin for quite a bit, sir. Interesting game though. <clears throat> what does he do it for? Six! You did it for six! You son you of a bitch! Are too dangerous to so, a couple more counters. Maybe. If he brings out counters, I'll be screwed. No, no counter. A third Ugin. <laughs> That's his intervention, so there's your counter. Must be nice. Must be nice. Yeah, I just, I'm surprised to see the Sublime and, and the Thassa's intervention, but whatever. Four, four, four. Ah, I don't have enough to play both of these. <laughs> of course not. Can we draw another Nyssa? That might be fun. Oh, oh my god, that's about as bad a thing as you can fucking draw right now. Holy shit. Alright. How about another Genesis Ultimatum? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now he's looking to see can I play my other Ugin? Do I counter this? Or do I let him play an Ugin on me? Shit. Don't worry, I don't have another land. I won't be able to play the Ugin, so just go ahead and counter it. I couldn't even play an Uro into a Storm's Wrath. 
There it is. X equals five. Oh yeah. Uh, ten. Yeah, I don't have that. So. Of course, you have it perfect here. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, did you forget about something? Did you forget about a little bit of something? You forgot that I have a land in play. Mm. This guy has had two clovers in play <clears throat> for a very long time with an adventures deck. And this deck is putting up with it. <clears throat> Just FYI. <clears throat> Player Beanstalks. Let's go. I can't believe I don't have enough things in my graveyard to play in a row. What a trashy trash. Should have known by looking at his little sleeves here. <laughs> what he was playing all right player escape the wilds of course swing for one sure player escape the wilds Your disposition is now player other lucky clover here in wall edge wall edge wall innkeeper and then your beanstalk <clears throat> Or do you play the Kiora? Or do you play the Kiora? No. Oh. Interesting. This is trash to be drawn. <clears throat> Early in this game, I was drawing all my big fat stuff. <clears throat> but this is trash to draw right now, I think. Oh god, I hope you don't draw any more cards. This guy's constantly drawing enough cards to put this back into his hand and go and get stuff. I think three and four times. Mm. Ah. You should have played the edge wall into, into a, a giant. You effed that up, bro. Okay, that's obvious play, right? This is ridiculous how bad I'm drawing now all of a sudden. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'll leave this back. I don't know, in case he has something, which I doubt he could have. At least I got that Fae out, <clears throat> finally. It's gonna take me a long time to come back for some of this. I wish I had Fae, maybe I should play Fae. It's just, without playing Clover though, I don't wanna go back into being an adventure deck. Do I want to play another adventure deck? I don't know. Not really. Player Kiora now. <clears throat> draw into something other than junk so like the last five turns I've drawn land and an arboreal grazer and gilded goose so it can't get too much worse than that
know what? I'm gonna cancel here first. I'm gonna tap this. For blue. I'll do this for negative one. Genesis Ultimatum. <clears throat> Okay, so you won't be able to tap my lands. Okay, so I, you won't be able to kill. Okay, I'll play this. Oh, finally my deck is working. Oh, is my deck finally working? Good lord. This is what it was supposed to do so many turns ago. Alright, here we go. I don't need to negative seven anything. Okay, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> yeah. I still have two lands here. Aww. You tapped my permanence over here too? Th what does that even mean? Can they still be used? Eight. I got eight cards left, huh? You're in trouble if you start. I don't know. We'll see. Go ahead and attack because you're going to get tapped next turn. Any two. Gain control of target opponent. A permanent on opponent controls. Each creature and each planeswalker. He's going to take my Ugin? Where's your Brazen? Where's your Brazen for like 20,000 return items? Could destroy everything <clears throat> with Ugin. I could destroy everything. Huh. Stop me from taking control of him. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. All right, what are you going to do? You brought the Ugin back. Interesting.
Kraken, obviously. What, how much land do I have? <laughs> I have all the land in my deck. Okay, so if I can't play everything, I don't know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I think I still got it. I think if I play Anissa into a land... Ugin first for seven. That's gonna suck to have to do that. <clears throat> hmm. You're out of time, man. You gotta start thinking a little bit faster, brother. So I play Anissa. Time out, bro. I think I got him. I guess we will see. I guess we will see. Jeez, six cards left. What a game. Jeez, Louise, this is coming down to the wire. So you must have another brazen borrower. But bouncing Nissa is not going to help you next turn, brother. Where's all your phase? You should have had more phase. Would you have two phase? Eh, that's really what you want to do right now. How rude. How's that gonna help? Come on, what the come on, do I have it? something he can brazen but you can't brazen my lands <clears throat> possibly do you can't kill everything with a bunch of <clears throat> if you had to have two giants in your hand but you still couldn't be able to <clears throat> that's not gonna be enough what are you doing what do you got going on oh you jerk you lost it game of the century though man what in the hell that was a sick game. That was a 40-minute game of magic, I guess. Okay, holy cow. Um, maybe I'll just cut it off there and just call this, like, the greatest game of uh, terrible magic ever. <laughs>